Good morning, it's May 5th, 2017. This is Larry Mitchell with NNYBs, and uh, I want to show you a very simple method of raising queens. I haven't done, I haven't raised queens myself, so I'm kind of showing you how a beekeeper, local beekeeper, um, I'm buying some nukes from him this year. Uh, he lives just a little ways down the road. He's been keeping bees for 50 years, and uh, he has about 15, 20 hives, and he sells uh, a number of nukes every year and sustains his own apiary. Um, wonderful guy, uh, very, very helpful and knowledgeable. Um, because I'm waiting for bees to come, mine had died out over the winter, um, I asked him if he could explain to me how he raises queens. And it was, it was so simple that I had to create a video. So I didn't take a video of him create, go, going through the steps, so I've kind of tried to recreate that here with uh, my hive boxes. Um, I do have a little clip at the end that shows um, how the queen cells have grown and, and um, him showing us that, that hive. So uh, I hope you enjoy. I hope you learn something from it. Um, thanks a lot. Okay, for this uh, method of raising bees, there is one piece of special equipment that you need to have. Um, nothing too complicated. And I'll show you that at the end of the video, the construction of that. This is the method that Luke used to uh, to generate um, new queen cells. Anyway, basically, let's assume you've got some comb, and this comb is empty comb. There's nothing in this comb; it's empty. So let's assume you've got a comb, and uh, you've got a queen that you really like, and there are uh, eggs in here, and you can see so you can see a row of eggs, row of larvae. This is a you know an area where uh, the queen is just laid and you can see the eggs what he would do is he'd use a pencil an ordinary pencil he's using an eraser and he would find say this is a cell with the egg in it he would basically crush open the cells around it the walls just like that to expose the egg and that's kind of what it ended up looking like I don't know if you can see that at all right there he just would crush his spot and expose the egg. You knock all the walls down and leave the little egg standing. And you find another spot somewhere else. Here, say. You would do the same thing. You'd use the pencil and eraser. And you would just slowly push away to expose the egg and kind of smash out the egg cells next to it. So you ended up again with another little pattern like that. You can see that right in here. Right there so he did several of these and again it was just a he was just knocking down the cell walls and he would flatten them back and just leave that one open that's it and he was spacing them out and he did several of these and um, so from the pictures of the video that I took of his queen cells this is what he did he started by uh, finding a comb that he liked in a hive where he liked the queen. He took out the thing, brushed all the bees off, it brought it to a different area. And then he just worked quite simply like this. And he would say, okay, here's an egg I like. And he would just slowly crush away the cells and use the pencil and just opened it up. Okay. That was it. That's all he did. Okay. Now, from there, uh, well, I'm going to pause, but I'll show you from what he did from there. Okay, so what he would do is he would take a hive uh, to raise the queen, rear the queens in, and he would um, remove the queen. So a day before he had done this process of, of finding a hive and um, just depressing with the wax, with a pencil on the wax, he'd taken a hive and he made it queenless. He removed the queen and he put it in another box. So now this box has no queen in it, okay? And so these bees really want to raise a queen. And then he did nothing more than take an empty frame and he set it down like this. And then he took this comb and he took uh, those eggs that he crushed and he flipped it over. He placed it on top of this empty frame, like that. So they were facing down, okay? Uh, and then at that point, 
he placed a feeder on top of here because he said it was very important to get a lot of make sure they were fed really well um, and he added another box to the top of that and added a whole bunch of burlap bag around it to keep it warm and to keep the bees down inside so he has some heavy burlap material whatever material and he covered it up that way the, the bees um, once he did that he put a cover on top of it this way the bees could only get at um, at the sugar water and at the exposed eggs and other bees couldn't come in and uh, get at the sugar or or bother anything and he left it like that and uh, you know it, it doesn't take very long that he had some nice queen cells drawn out and then at that point he just would take a knife once the queen cells were mature and cut out a big pattern so he wasn't crushing the cell and then move that over into um, a uh, uh, another hive body or a nuke with some um, other you know bees and brood and boom he's got another nuke started in another colony so but that was it thanks for watching okay so what I did is I constructed this special shim uh, this gives me space to put that um, that uh, frame in what I discovered is yeah would make sense to somebody if I try to put this frame in here it won't fit because of the because of the uh, the rest I mean obviously the whole point is that the, the frame is designed to fit on the edges the box is smaller so I can't place a frame down inside there in an empty frame so I need to have a shim and all I've done is I've, is I've taken a box and three sides just rest on top of the box I'll show you here three sides rest on the box so this this side just mates up here and that side mates up and that side mates up this other side is longer and so yeah, I left a little space there now I just added a board here I didn't really need to but I need the board to extend out and still enclose the box because I need it to be long enough I'll show you here in a sec I just need to make a box that's long enough to allow me to get this edge of the frame and that edge of the frame to fit inside here, like that. And that's pretty much it. So all I did is add, I made a board that's the full length here and then I put a piece of plywood on it and I just did this kind of for stiffness. If any, I probably didn't even need to do that. So I basically have three sides of wood. Mine are probably three inches by three inches. Uh, maybe even three and a half by three and a half All the way around three and a half inch deep and that allows me to have space and so I'll show you this setup now Okay, let's assume that this is my comb that's got the the crushed down spots where I have uh, eggs um, What I realized is that I needed the shim to put in here and the shim allows me to place a blank frame in here like we talked about and then with the egg cell side I can place that down over top of this and get that to fit in here without this without this shim I can't set this in here because it's too long so I had to I had to build a board that's just a little bit longer um, and basically my shim is nothing but a piece of a board but then I added a piece of plywood to the end I am sure that if you wanted to you could take an old box and you could slice it you could take an old box and you could cut a space and then just tack another board on top there to keep this you know so it's still a box but that would give you that would give you enough space for the frames to pass down through there so you could take an old box and do that but I decided just to make one so again my shim sits on there next this is a colony of bees without a queen I put my spacer in there which is just an empty frame or just spacers but basically I need to have room for the for the queen cells to get drawn down this is my comb with the pattern I just made with a pencil 
and I place it on top like that. And then I use the rest of the space to place feeders, mason jar feeders. Um, I don't know, you could actually even drop a, a frame feeder in here or whatever you want to do. And then at that point, you've taken a box, puts another box on top of here. Now, this is the way Luke had done it. He places another box on top and throws a bunch of burlap inside here. Puts an insulated cover on to keep everything warm. Allows them to feed. No other bees to get at the food. And, and there's your there's your queen cell getting drawn out right down there. Um, and it's easy enough to check on them because they're right there. And you can just lift them up. So you have to take this box off. You can lift them up carefully. Knock the bees off and see how they're doing. And how they're drawing those out. And then when you're ready to use them, you just cut around the opening big enough around the cell big enough so you don't have to handle the cell or touch the cell you don't want to crush the cell at all so that's that's pretty much how he does it Looks like they got one of them that's all over their cap over. Mm -hmm. A couple oh, of them. Queen cell. And I'll cut them out with a knife. Yep. Then they're just laying down there over an empty frame, right? Yep. Is your paint bucket actually a feeder? Yeah. Put that in there yesterday morning. It's almost empty. things warm. Now in here I got some queen cells too. Okay. Uh, this was just letting them build them natural kind of. Okay. Now I really want to count how many I have. So what am I doing? I think I got a light. So what did you say? These were just cells that started on their own? No. No. I, t I took the... Um, I made them queen, uh, hive queenless oh, and then can't. I, then yeah. I uh, damaged some cells too, but it, but they're, they're going to be hanging straight down. Oh, okay. So you just damaged the cells on the bottom. I cut some out already. It looks like that got squashed. There's one there. Where's, oh, okay. The one that got squashed? Yeah. I don't know if that would be any good. And there's two there. Where are they? Right in here. Oh, okay. So how did you damage the cells on these? I just took and broke down the yeah. back, the bottom wall. Right. They build them. All right. Yeah. Uh, now there's another frame in here. I think it has some in. So there we got two. Three. Where's this? Yeah. Down here's one. Yep, there's one on the bottom. Yep, right here. Over there. So I have four. Okay. Okay. And so all you did here is just kind of messed up some of the cells. Yeah. And, and, left, I had, and left them queenless. I had, um, what did I make? I'm going to have to, uh, I think it's like four, five, 
six, seven, eight. I made eight so far out of this batch, and I have four more, so I can make uh, four. Oh, when I got, I got that and then that, so I, I'm probably gonna have like a dozen. A dozen oaks this year? Out of that batch.